Hi everybody, thank you for watching this video. This is going to be my first review on a show. It is uh, Servant Season 1 and it is from M. Night Shyamalan. Um, I'm not going to say that it's completely from from M. Night Shyamalan. Um, he did contribute to it in a big way. Um, he, I know he directed the first episode as well as uh, I think helped out a lot with the writing aspect. But um, this is from, this is a very involved uh, show. It's from a lot of different uh creators and a lot of uh, different directors I believe um, so I was really excited to watch this show as well as it is one of the shows from Apple TV which is a brand new uh, streaming service so I thought that this was a good way to actually get into that uh, kind of app and just really explore it and, and see what they were all about and this show uh, being from M. Night Shyamalan it is it, it, it's good um, another reason why I'm doing this review is because I am actually working on uh, doing a series uh, where I rank my favorite filmmakers as well as actors or actors or filmmakers who have an interesting repu reputation to them. Um, some of the actors and filmmakers I'm going to be working on uh, is, uh, so we got M. Night Shyamalan in the works, we got Adam Sandler, Shia LaBeouf, Joaquin Phoenix, Seth Rogen. Um, I have a good amount of, again, actors and filmmakers that I will be r ranking their films worst to best with uh, reviews and my opinions. So I thought this was a good way to kind of get into that. So let's just get into this show. Um, I won't be reviewing every episode just because there is so much to unpack. But Servant pretty much holds up, holds its own uh, beginning to end. And seemingly knows what it wants to do with, with everything, which is what I respect. Also, uh, the performances in the show, from Toby Kebbell to Nell Tiger Free to Rupert Grant, as well as everybody else who's on, on the show, uh, really contributes and really dedicates themselves and really seems to know exactly what's going on and what they need to do as, as far as uh, what they want to provide. And while I won't say that there's too much that is necessarily wrong with the season, uh, I will say that it's pretty often that you'll see very up and down patterns with some things from pacing as well as the character development. Um, the show, the show's uh, episodes are really told in a very interesting manner. Um, there's always something that you need to unpack and really reflect on as well as what you want to question with each episode that seems to linger until the next episode or... Uh, next couple episodes until they decide to answer that and go back on it. So if you're not into slow burn, this really might kind of irritate you, but it is a very unsettling show. Um, it's really unpredictable, very interesting to actually get your theories out and try and dive in and try and figure out what the show is going to do next or what it's trying to interpret or where it's going to go or what will happen next. It's a very fun show to actually test yourself with your thoughts. But again, the pa the pattern as well as the the character development with the pacing, it's very it's it's not very bothersome, but it is a little bit irritating that you might have to just kind of ignore. But the show overall really does a lot, and it really does feel like an M Night Shyamalan uh, uh, show with a lot of biblical metaphors as as well as uh, a lot of spiritual references. And very emotional drama, serious, mature subject ma matter. Um, the ending, I think, is a uh, very hit or miss as well. But in saying that, uh, the show I believe is planning to go on for six seasons, is what M Night Shyamalan said in an interview. So I'm really excited to see where it goes because with the ending, um, when I, when I say that it's hit or miss, a lot of things are left unanswered, but in a really good way. So when I say hit or miss, um, it might overall upset the viewer just to get, you know, 10 episodes in just for some things that may not quite reach their expectations or leave them satisfied. But this show really does well with its story. Um, the pacing, again, it is a little bit bothersome, but I can see where it somewhat works just because they want to kind of have every every episode linger again and I understand that but because of how repetitive it is um, it can be a little bit annoying but 
overall this sh this season really kept my interest consistently and I will see more of this show I have to I really am excited that this show is is happening um it seems like a really good return to form for Shyamalan he's kind of been known for releasing very off the wall films but also very interesting and successful films um so I'm really excited to do the ranking video that I'm going to be do doing on him as well. But overall, I do give this show a 7 out of 10. Um, I have a lot of videos coming very soon, as well as some things on Pragmatophobia, whether that be updates or progress, as well as a trailer that I'm in the works for. Um, the film is almost done. I also reviewed, or I also released a video this morning where I was announcing something, but I took it down because I just thought to myself it isn't the right time to do it a lot of a lot of uh you guys probably already saw it just because it was up there for a few hours but um it is a very interesting and very exciting thing that i'm excited to announce but in very short time we'll be announcing it again and pragmatophobia is right around the corner a lot of info coming very soon this is kind of the time to get involved with it go ahead and watch relapse if you would um pragmatophobia is this is the time of that movie. It is coming very soon. Um, I have a lot of reviews coming, a lot of ranking videos, so I'm going to be pretty busy as far as uh, the channel goes. But yes, uh, go ahead and watch Servant. It is a very good show, and I think that a lot of people will respect Shemlin for it. Thank you for watching the video. I hope that you guys come back and you know want to see more. Uh, let me know what you guys want to see next, what you guys want me to talk about next. But yeah, this has been my first review on a show, so let me know how, how you guys think it went. Appreciate it. Have a nice day.